So the book we read is called The Nickel Boys. It um, was a really good book, but it's based, it's a historical fiction based on the Dozier School for Boys, which was in Florida, which was um, established in 1900 and ran until 2011, which shocked me. I cannot believe it was still open and all of these things were still happening in 2011. I, I don't know. I saw pictures of it. Um, And I read a little bit about it, but I didn't want to read too much. But I do remember Mm -hmm. hearing in the news. Yes, I remember that too. When they found all these Mm -hmm. open graves with just body, 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 body. I don't remember that at all. I do. I remember that. And I did. I was like, when you brought the book, well, when we decided on the book and I read that it was about, I knew exactly what it was about. Um, So I was expecting it to be much worse than it was, actually. I thought it was going to be far worse than what we read. Um. I, I thought it was pretty uh, uh, tame for what there was a lot that was unspoken, mm-hmm. like it was alluded yes. to, like you knew stuff was happening, yes, but like it wasn't the, super... the sexual abuse. Yes. Yeah. Um, there like, was a lot he didn't of even... intimations was... yes, that exactly. things happened, but it was not graphic. No, um, it was all. not graphic. Yeah. But the the beatings of the yeah. ver- the first beating mm-hmm. was so graphic that yeah. I had to put the book on ice for a while and i mean it's exactly those reasons that we should be reading about it Mm -hmm. because this actually happened and you know but it's it's hard it's hard to look at it happened until 11 years ago that's what really that's crazy i can't i can't i mean i remember when they closed it but i just didn't I remember thinking at the time, I can't believe that's happening now. I can't believe that's still happening. In like this I, day and age. I don't. Not that it's okay that it happened in the '60s, but it made more sense because of where our country was and how you know how divisive everything was with race. But also, it feels like things are so regulated. Like schools are so regulated. How did no one know this was happening? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. When you think about the kind of hoops that we have to jump through to volunteer in our children's schools and (laughs) fingerprinting, et cetera, it is shocking. Yeah. That's the part that there's so much. I'll tell you why. Yeah. It's Florida. And I think Mm. some of that stuff happens in that part of the country and it doesn't happen out here. And I don't mean that to be necessarily a negative i mean i can speak about my my mom's hometown i know if i was told i don't know if this is actually true but i was told that that it's a very small town that they actually um just didn't have they just didn't they just didn't integrate and they actually said you can keep your state funding we're not integrating we'll just take care of our own red lights and streets we're not doing that and no, nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, but not in 2011. <laughs> not in 2011, but I don't know that it's really changed. Well, also, okay, something that I know when we looked into moving to Florida at one point because houses are so much cheaper and yada, 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 and we have family there. And um, corporal punishment, What like, it, again, this was maybe 10 years ago that we looked into it, corporal punishment is was still, still legal allowed. in the state of Florida. Mm-hmm. So in schools. So mm-hmm. I think it's probably still is in Georgia. Yeah. You could get hit yeah. by the principal or your teacher mm-hmm. or whatever, which to me is like, what? Like, wouldn't they go to prison for that? Yeah, but it's so <laughs> right. normal in that culture. Yeah. That's yeah. culturally normal. That's acceptable and normal. There it's a very different um part of the world, really. And I mean, I grew up with corporal punishment. I've talked about that before. I got paddling. Everybody got paddled. The teacher could paddle. The you know anybody could paddle. Uh, anybody of an authority could could paddle a student. Um, no paperwork. <laughs> you know, there's no like I paddled so and so because he spit gum at me. No, you just go in the hall, paddle them, they go back down and teach class. And you know, in some ways, this sounds you're probably going to hate this. In some ways, we didn't have a whole lot of riffraff going on in class because nobody wanted to get paddled. So even though it's not good that you got paddled, the fear of being paddled kept people in line. You know what I mean? So we didn't have. Yeah, I do not think the ends justify the means. <laughs> I know, but I know. But then I, I think what end can you use to get that mean? You know what I mean? What Like nothing else is an effective deterrent. Is that what you're saying? Not really. Detention. Ooh. 
I had detention once. They they installed bathroom stalls in the vice principal's office when they put a desk in the stall. <laughs> what? You just sit in the stall. <laughs> you know, no toilet, just the stalls, you know. And they put a desk in the stall, so you're like in solitary, but you're not in a room by yourself. The principal's on the other side of your bathroom door or your stall door. <laughs> And you just had to sit. That's where you did class that day. That is the weirdest the whole thing day. I've ever heard of. That yeah, is the well, it depended thing. on your detention or yeah. suspension, you know. I think <laughs> I, that was an in-school suspension I got. I yeah. got an in-school huh. suspension. So I had to spend, spend the whole day in the vice principal's office <laughs> in, in the bathroom, bathroom <laughs> at a desk. I didn't get paddled for that one, though. I got paddled in the third grade. Did you sit on the toilet? or like- No, there's no toilet. It's just this, the wall. It's just, just your chair. Stall with the door, with the latch, right? But I don't remember there being a latch. I was going to say, if it was latched, you could just do whatever you wanted in there. It may have been latched on the outside. <laughs> I don't it's remember like the latch, but I do <laughs> remember being, bizarre. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 